It's your girl Simplea and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be giving you some tips and basically walking you through the process of how to get into pharmacy school at UTEC. So if you're interested in today's video, just keep on watching. Alright, so as y'all know, I am a first year pharmacy student. I've just completed one semester. Only one. Alright, and so some persons... I've seen the video that I made before at school and had a few questions about it. They messaged me, they reached out to me on Instagram and something like that. So I said, why not just make a video so everybody can see it and share the info because you know we don't get keep on information over here. Alright, so without further ado, we're just gonna dive right into it because it's kind of a lengthy process ish. And I have my notebook here. Note, what is note? I have my notebook here, so I can give you some points as well as I'm looking down. That's it. Alrighty. Should I get my glasses now? Well, let's go. Alright, so the first step is basically to just go online and just type in UTEC application and apply online. That's what I did. I applied online. I, never did the, I didn't do the physical copy. So when you apply online, you're going to get some... Um, wait, after you complete the... The document that's what's take like do a print out so you finish the come um, finish the application and you're going to carry your documents to the office which is over you take campus popping right they are carrying those so I did early bird application which was I did mine from October 14 in 2022 no that passed already so early bird application done I'm so hot but then you have regular application coming up I think in March I have no idea, or something like that, right? So after you apply online or what do you want to do a physical copy and the application done, all you have to do is just wait. Just, just please be ensure that every document you're dropping off is certified by a JP or by some principal or admin office of the school that you attend. Okay, now here is all the things you need before you start the application, you need to ensure that you have those. Which I said that before, you know, anyways. So here are the subjects. So one, chemistry. Chemistry is like, if you don't have chemistry, you know, make no sense to try to apply to pharmacy school because this is what they look for the most. Other subjects, they're a big part of what the chemistry. Chemistry and biology, you need those. Now, the UTEC website can be a bit confusing. And I mean the, the page where they show you all you need because on there it says that you need chemistry and one other but in real life you need chemistry biology and another no you cannot apply to pharmacy school with only c6 subjects you need a levels you need them I was trying to do it come never want a six form you never did ever work first thing them tell you and then when I say something a levels a levels a levels which is key right so you need chemistry in the C-Sec, you get your one or your two, go through, go through. You go through to um, K, um, unit one, get your one or your two, go through. Unit two, get your one or your two, you go through. So it is chemistry, biology, um, it can be either, which one are you running again? Chemistry, biology, physics, or math. So it can be like pure math, I need double units. You can do one unit to the next, one unit to the other. But with me, I had a little issue come to think I never do get through because I only did I did one unit of pure math because I think I never need it because they confuse me they say chemistry I one other so I chose to do the biology instead can we do one bag of math we do all I math in my school so I said I just want to do all of them so I never do unit two in a pure math I did integrated math instead uh -huh, I did it instead it kind of caused a little issue because they need they needed to have the pure math or the physics so if I don't have that I don't know what I'm going to do I'm going to my friend but I had one unit though so then they kind of consider me alright so after I make your application now you can go through I mean somebody asked me if they get like threes in K if they take you I got a three in biology in unit two I'm still going through but 
and the chemistry them focus on. So you want to make sure if I'm seasick, you get straight A profile and the chemistry you get the one or the straight A and then probably unit, for unit one, I got a two and if I unit two, I get two again. Then pick me same way. But you have people out there who are slap beer ones from Cape, from seasick, come straight up. So it's a very competitive area so you want to do your, you have to do your best try the pressure is really um because when i'm going at the interview people them tell me say i have to do my best to get a one in a um unit two because i got a two so me have one in a c sec two in a unit one and then so i forget one i never get one i get two though anyways now so after you send off that you're going to just gonna you just have to just sit and be patient and pray to god say all the documents are okay and anything if you want to call and check up on them i would advise to do so but you take phone and email never work so anything you need from you take please to go up to papin and go to the office and do it yourself okay calling no that never answer you anyways so after that you're going to be doing an interview so if your documents are qualified for everything you're going to be doing an interview right so in the interview now so listen now here october 14th 2022 i applied and in february 3rd i'm gonna get an email so i have an interview on february the 7th so you see how long me have to wait november december and january three months you have to wait i don't know if them love you now and we respond to the same time but i had to wait until that so when i got the email so i had an interview so it's february 3rd you know i have the interview february Seven. They text me February third, and I have to respond before. Um, I have to respond and tell them yes, I'm coming to the interview before the February sixth. So same as me get them tell them so me I come. Of course, same of that interview they have to respond professionally and whatever, whatever you want. Where? You know, if you're gonna be at school or where you're gonna be at that time, but you're gonna want you know, not go be not too much baga baga. Come here nice, it look nice now. If you're gonna wear makeup, no matter with the bag of extra nice and the color, color, and this pharmacy, a prof and be a professional, professionalist in them be with us, all right? So, you're gonna be nice. We have best behavior, and this was no interview. Go questions they ask, and oh, yes, for the interview, you have to work with like certified copies of your qualifications, so like your C sec and your CAP. And you know, it's a um, if you need one. Keep, you don't get the hard copy like the certificate from six seconds yet all you have to do is take a screenshot of when you went on the portal to see your results print it out go to the office make them sign it and you carry it out but remember it's so a one time it come out they are gonna stop your they are gonna pause your application they are gonna pause your process until you carry the hard send up the hard copy go get them I mean, I don't copy the original thing or give them so you have to copy when you get it. What may I say? Come again. When you get the original copy from C sec after the interview, you have to photocopy it, sign it by people them, JP or whoever, and you can send it back or you take what call a screenshot. Then we work with it for a period of time, but then they're gonna need it. That's for the unit one, cause unit two result not come out it can the unit two yet. Alright? So the interview, basic questions and talks about yourself, why you want to become a pharmacist, what you know about pharmacy, um, inspiration, blah 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 blah, and then talk to you a little bit, a little bit. I always have a question to ask them in it. Don't don't you not really ask them about the pay, talk like you're passionate about pharmacy, you're even a passionate about it, you know what I'm saying? And that's been nice and when we can go to the interview part. Can I help you with that part because I'm not an interview? Alright, after the interview you now. You have to do, uh, if you're successful at the interview, they're going to send you an uh, email telling you have to do a psychometric test. Is it your mad or your absence? <laughs> a joke. Well, yeah, they're going to send you that test. So after I, did, after I did my test, guys, I mean, after I did my interview, I got um, an email from, I got an email from somebody from the admin office from COS. And they said to me, you have a test to do, which is going to be online. And so the thing is, you can do the test, but I'm send you the link. Do the test, but it's gonna be at a cost of five thousand five hundred dollars. Yet, so I'm at school, very expensive, very, very. So if you, if you're broke, time to go look at sugar daddy. You're yeah, gonna need it. Anyways, I'm not promoting anything here. I'm just joking. 
Anyways, that get cut off a while ago. Yes, as I was saying, you have to pay five thousand five hundred to do the thing. So for the test, so you can do the test before. You can do the test before. After you do your test, then you're going to pay your five thousand five hundred. They're going to send you the account information. They transfer it to, and then so if you don't pay the money, you're not going to get your results. So if you pass the test, are you going to move or whatever, whatever? So when I did mine, I did. I never do it until I have the money, you know. I think you have like a deadline to do the test. I do it on an exact deadline, like the day one time, like last year. Last, last year, I did So, I did it on the last day. And so, when I did the test, as we're done with the test, we just pay up, go NCB, transfer the money to them, and then they're going to give you an email where they're going to send you a receipt to. No, people. Oh no, no, or transfer go. You so and them say you better keep that receipt, they do not delete it because a couple of days, one week after them text me and say I must make payment to get my results. I must make my payment already. Hmm? I must send them the receipt again and I send them a message and say hello. I did the test, I made my payment, and here's the receipt again. And they were like, and them, them ignore and they send me one next one. I'm going to say, I'm send them it again. I'm say hello. I pay for the test. I did the test and here is the receipt. Show them again. Right, I come like them email me. They said probably the last I come back to me. Cause apparently look like they never there is. So after that, no, they were like, oh I'm sorry for the inconvenience of all them seat or whatever, whatever. So I said keep a receipt. Keep it. But I go see you have to go pay five thousand five hundred again. Hmm? Okay, now no proof. But yeah. So after that, no. Um, well, the second magic test is basically like, I think it was like 70 multiple choice for me. It doesn't have anything to do with, let me see, it doesn't have, I don't remember if it had anything to do with like academics in terms of like, like a chemistry, like a bio, no stuff. It asks the things like, let me see if I can remember now. I think it asks the things, basically your personality that is, and then like, what I'm going to say like, mm, like, like which one, like a teddy bear. Or this, let them say, because they want tests if you have like the qualities to be a pharmacist, if you're professional, they want to see how you think it's a psychometric psycho man. Here, they want the, the test is to see how your brain said people. You see, even if I don't let you go in, still on like Google, the monkey is one big word. Google the words, please, may I be going to Google the words and see and pick the best word. Even if you don't agree, pick the best word. If you fail that test, you're a bad person. You're not going to take you. Understood? <laughs> Understood? Eh? Understood? Oh, I'm piercing. Yeah. So, yeah, I have to pass that test there. Eh? People, I don't know, I don't remember if they tell me what grade. Because as I'm saying, I have a pay for getting results. I don't remember if I did a grade, you know. But I'm looking like my pass. And that was from when? From February, I was like, after I interviewed, it was like a week later, they got, I got the test to do, right? So they say, all right, this. The only way I get that test to do is if you're successful at the interview. So go Google interview question, then your best behavior, talk to who you want to talk to. I mean, don't go in a bit confident, overconfident. You need to sell yourself to make them say why them for pick you. As I said, it's a very competitive um, place. You might not have, um, I might have the straight A profile. You might have like a two or me have one, you have two. But at the interview, you no, know, separate me and you. So as I said, there are lots of persons who had the, the big grade them. I had like a two. I had two in unit one, but me I pray to God, I mean, I said, God, the pure maths are going to kill me, the people that are the pure maths and everything, but still apply. As me I say, if you don't have it, if you don't have the unit two, in you know, a like the math or something, try your luck, them still might take you. Them still might take you, you hear me I say? And something like that. And all that, all that, all that, all that, whatever. So now, July... Yeah, I'm saying February, you take can make us drop down from high blood pressure. February night, don't lie. July 19, 2023. No. I was, I don't know what me did or whatever. You hear them tell us, eh? Them telling them start respond to people, you know. Listen, some people who do like pharmacy take a look at time. There's a lot of purchases them I go through and a lot of interviews. So, my friend who did the IT will apply with me same time. She get like acceptance like in a November. 
You know what I say? Other friends them were the nursing, they get acceptance and them some long time pharmacy. Yeah, you know, you know, some some of the truth. Hmm? July 7, 19, no, they, they gave me conditional acceptance. No. Conditional acceptance means say, alright, they may wait on some documents for you to say, alright, me take her or not, right? So they were waiting on like my unit two results to come out. Because as I said, my unit one grades, them nobody has slapped like my C set grade them. I tell some I get two. Basically, for unit one, I got like two and trees. We never get no one in no unit two. Keep it hard, though. You know what? It's very hard, anyways. So, um, my grades weren't slapping like C set grade. Because C set can come with the bugger ones and the twos and, you know, the straight A profiles. And them say, yeah, man, the chemistry, you do go on the chemistry. This is this, not the interview. Them say, make sure you get a one in the, in the um, in the unit two. I'm say, Lord. To a unit two, they are going to come and say, God, if I get a like, tree, I'm happy. To a unit two, they are going to tell you. But I did my best. I got a two. But I never know something get to it. But then put me on conditional acceptance. That means they are not fully accepted yet. Right? So if you're on conditional acceptance, you know what I say? Take the chance. And still go and make preparation for school. Can I tell you, say, at July 19, them tell me, say, me the pound conditional. And me have to wait until me unconditional for go to school. If you are wait for, um, we call the student loan now, you have to wait for your con unconditional acceptance. But, but more than likely, if you get conditional acceptance, them, them more than likely, they will take you. You know what I say? Once you get, like, whatever. But as I say, if you did two, I got two in chemistry. And I got a three in biology and I got, did inti math and Caribbean studies. Um, unit one I did com studies. As I said, for see for com studies, just a little tip, we are straight a little bit. You see for English and com studies, um, do your best to get like do your best to get one in English and like com studies, do your best to get like a, a one or two. I got three anyway, but I'm still saying me. You see when you do this, yeah, you get to um you just get to do like the straight academic literature. This course there is a prerequisite. You have to get like a one in CSEC CAPE or you have to get like one in COMS. So one out of 20, you have to get one and you have to do the course. If you don't, if you get like two in a both of them, you're going to have to do like a different, you have to do like a, what do you say, a makeup course? Like a makeup course where you can do that course. So, one of the best. Alright, so now. Conditional acceptance, I got the letter, and they gave you like my ID number. Some of them are taking, you know, can I get an ID number right there? So, if I'm conditional acceptance, I get an ID number, and things like that. So, when CAPE result came out now, that's in some something. I like when CAPE result come out now, you see them, take, them keep on an email, you certain things like um, school of pharmacy, them start saying some things. People. You see, when you're waiting on information like this, please, everybody, check your email, morning, noon, night, check your spam. That is what, that is why you get me in a problem. I never check my spam. I wait for email, find them all along, I'm going to check my spam. I listen to everything I go. Everything I go over my spam, and well, my spam clear in 30, 15 days. Right? So while I was there waiting on unconditional acceptance, the people them send something on my email a long time. People have said something about it a long time for you can um for you to join like the groups and everything and everything. I mean like Jesus will come and never see it. Then August no them send that in my email now. And then in that you had like orientation, information, and everything. I'm gonna never see no one missing the email the day after orientation. I'm like I want to drop down dead. I was working at the time, you know. I was working at me, I can't see them go to school or not. Yada yada yada, but whatever. Um, check your spam because they're gonna send some things when they send it to me. They might give you like a whole outline and them tell you say persons who are um who have gotten unconditional acceptance do this, do this, do this. Persons who are conditional acceptance do this, do this, do this, right? So persons who who bright like morning star get them con unconditional from when time when people who you know had a little issue like me nothing wrong with you you know no wrong with you. i just pray and trust god at this 
if it's a conditional and them tell you what to do from what not to do so in that email them give you an outline i said this is all before i got conditional access that's what me never said the email until me get unconditional because what me never check my spam so check your spam when you see start with july down here august check your spam all right so in that email and your orientation information and you like the link to join the whatsapp group they give you all things them to get information about school me join the group and show me so demotivated camera still wait for unconditional acceptance me not read no message in that group what a slap me not read no message in that group so i'm sending a uniform outline my people sorry i'm sending a uniform outline i'm sending a one maga this one maga that so me personally i miss orientation so i never know what i'm going to school i never know what to do no i never know nothing nothing last back a bush Anyways, one day I came home from work and I was in my bed laying down. I'm see them say August. Listen to the date, people. I'm say August when thirty first. Hmm? That time the school start from August twenty eighth. Already, you know. August thirty first. I get email say. I'm get unconditional. Wait, before that, C sec results K K result came out. I'm a screenshot and send them and them say, oh, me need to verify and carry an odd copy. I'm verify it and carry it go to the office. Don't send them an email. Screenshot it, get a JP sign and go to the office, drop it off. And then like a couple of days after that, them tell me say, them tell me say, I'm get unconditional acceptance. So that means I'm go through people. This is where I must pay attention. Is it in the group, people? The people them this a long time. If you're on un un if you're unconditional acceptance, you the document them sort of but still come at school. Me never see it. Why come I demotivated and vexy vexy come when I get unconditional? When I pay attention, I can't make the rage and the frustration take over like it did to me. Watch a spam, read join the I group them, join them and read the information thoroughly because I tell you say I'm gonna say I skip through me never so in the lecture or the um what you call that now the faculty something something say if you're on conditional acceptance you are free to join you are you can come to school go to your classes and then once you're document then you get the documents and started out before a certain time you call that never know that I got my friend media and I don't read him. I said, like, Jesus Christ, give me for God's school. Do sign this. So I forgot, run, go make noon farm. Run, go make this. Run, rush, 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 school. No. No, live. I'm not ready to say it. Anyways. Mm -hmm. So I get unconditional. And before I make uniform and everything, everything you have to pay like an ECD. Look at me at the, the, the notes and all up on it. I have to pay like an ECD, which is basically a commitment fee, 30,000, I say yes, may I come, may I hold my spot. If you get unconditional, your PA say yes, may I come, hold my spot. That means you are coming to school, September, or whenever, right? Good. Alright, then it's up to your pay ECD. Um, you can log on to the portal. Come, let me say, you get your student in the unconditional, they're going, they're going to give you like a number. That is a Tony and so. That was mine, that's my name. Tony and so, they give you like a number, and I say blah, 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 blah. That's their ID number. That's their like school ID. That is what they're going to use to log on to the portal. So, you open your tech portal. You make your password, you make this, this, this. But until you pay your ECD, you're not going to see the option with a student. You can go on it and select your class, them, and everything. Blah, 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 blah. Okay? So, go on to your step them again. A pharmacy school. Come and see my done. So, one, make sure all you have all your subjects that you need. Chemistry, biology. May not talk about like the main one, cause you know, know some stuff from maths and English and them some of them. I have of them. Let me talk about them. Day. So, chemistry, biology, physics, or math. Them they need. Or I think you can do something like zoology. But what would do zoology? No, no. That. And then you have to have A levels. Double units. Not one unit. Double. Two. Uno, no, like a dos, that I, dos, whatever, double, a double A, double units, right? And so when you know, see, I have all them the set, you can, you can apply. Remember, you know, you see, if you don't have like the, the, the big number, them, something like the one and them, something, 
wait till regular application. No matter how the early bird. If you do it already, you gonna already so but that's fine. So that, so the, that you have your qualify, do your application, job off your documents, and things like that. Then after that, you're going to you're going to do an interview. Successful at the interview, you're going to do a test, which you pay your money for to get the results. So you do the test, pay the money, get the results. If you're successful, you're going to receive either conditional or unconditional acceptance based on your grades, okay? Or based on whatever documents you have outstanding. After that, you can wait a little. I would say you go and make a little preparation for get conditional, go and make a preparation in for school, buy a things, make a uniform. Uh, blah 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 and then I'm and I'm gonna say you see when time you get unconditional access and you get unconditional pay your ECD you see when you get that you see when time you say it unconditional acceptance may tell you move like bullet flash because you see if you wait and delay or if you did like had issues like me when time with my application and everything they are growing and last minute I may have missed emails Yes, whenever you select modules, you'll hear say everything full up, full up, full up, full up. Everything full up, every class are full up. And then if you like go to people and I beg them to give you like space, do. I like try this, I like it. it's stressing. It's stressing. I tell you, just forget set it in a you take it's stressing. So as if you can do things as soon as you can get them done, it is it is best best for you so you can have a, like a smooth transition a smooth process and all you have to do now is focus on content in school because may i tell you well i september i may have focus on my enrollment and everything all right so now i think that is how you get in and then um yes yeah, so like class is your time to your blah 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 and that is like getting the warmest school people be on your best behavior do you have to study all and do your work but if you guys want another video on after what you do after you get in uh, the whole process selecting classes the modules how to get through first semester and everything can just let me know down below so i think we have come to the end of today's video in that sense and if you guys if i missed anything i'll just put it in the description and if you guys have any more questions feel free to reach out as you know we're all here to help because we want everybody to succeed in life have a nice nice pharmacist and have like nice career blah 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 all right so if you have any questions not only about pharmacy come my friend who like other aspects that you want um you know just want to ask some questions for help out you can just drop it in the comment section below. All right, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Turn your post notification on so you don't upload a brand new video. Share this with your persons. Share this video to people who um are about to apply to university if they haven't applied as yet. Persons who have already applied, you know, in their group, so they have like, you know, they have a look ahead start on how things would go and just how to go about everything. Alrighty, so that is it. All right, so. Without further ado, we're going to close up today's video here. Thank you all for all the love and support. It's a new year, and I promise I'll be do I'll be doing better on the vlogging. Okay? I'll do better. So, guys, enjoy the rest of your day, and see you next time.